Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. In today's video, I'm really, really excited because I'm going to be trying out a bunch of new products for the first time. I have here the new M Cosmetics Daydream Cushion, which I'm dying to try out. I have some newness from Veska as well as from NARS and ColourPop and Melt Cosmetics. I just have a really exciting lineup for today's video. So before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. How cute are these little cloud earrings? Uh, M Cosmetics sent them along with this foundation. So this is what the box looks like. When you open it up, you have, of course, a little cushion, and you also get a backup cushion and another puff, which is really nice. I have never tried a cushion foundation yet, so this will be my first time. So when you open it up, it looks like this. There's a little teardrop poof, and then you open it up here, and I guess you open her up. It's really nice. This is the shade Light Medium. It's called Gentle Light. And they also sent another one, but it's the lightest one. I believe I'm going to be this one. There are six shades. I'm going to read a little bit about this foundation here. It's a multi-use formula. It can be used as a primer under foundation, worn alone as a tinted SPF, or paired with a concealer for customizable coverage. It has a sheer complexion enhancing formula. It's infused with optically diffusing pigments, which allows each shade to stretch across multiple skin tones with ease. All that good stuff. <laughs> and I know many of you are probably looking at what the hell on my forehead and I burnt myself with my curling iron so but anyways let's just dive right into this I'm gonna take my little poof and dip right in makes a nice noise um <laughs> there's also a lot of skincare products in here which is really nice it says that there's niacinamide look at me nailing that word now instead of saying niacinamin snow mushroom extract green papaya fruit extract green tea rice water and goji berry so that's exciting i feel like this is going to be something i really enjoy and i've heard from a lot of you guys too in my dms that you guys have been loving this this looks beautiful here you guys are a little bit too far here i'm gonna place it on my little acne spots here so you can see the coverage in action wow that is beautiful this is like the perfect amount of coverage for an everyday vibe this would be something i see myself using a lot hopefully it has a good lasting power and all that but this looks beautiful it really corrects the redness effortlessly but it still looks just like skin and I didn't put any primer or anything under this today, just like my moisturizer and my SPF and everything like that. I wonder what it's gonna do to my little thing here. Pretty good. Oh no, I wanted to put this underneath. I was supposed to put the Vesca Beauty Soft Sun Radiant Skin Primer and Luminizer. This is so beautiful. Here, I'll swatch it on my hand here. It looks so nice and sheer but it reflects the light in a very natural, beautiful way. I think it's gonna be something I enjoy. So I'm gonna put this beside here so I can try it in my next video. That's annoying, I'm mad. But I guess it was meant to be because this is looking really, really good on its own. This puff is really nice too because most of it goes onto your face and not a lot gets absorbed by it, which is really nice. Um, but I think I've been dabbing my face enough. That looks super, super flawless. I love this amount of coverage and it makes my skin look so soft and blurred. I can't believe how much I like this right now. I'm really, really excited. So here, I'll zoom you guys up and stay a little bit more still so you can see the texture and everything. For my concealer, I sadly don't have anything new, but I recently repurchased another shade in the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I picked up the shade 3.5, just because the other shade I had was too deep for my winter skin, and this is a concealer I want to have all year round. It's one of my all-time favorites, and I think it's gonna pair very beautifully with the texture of the M Cosmetics Daydream Foundation. I'm just gonna blend it out with my new beauty blender. <laughs> I love this color, it's so pretty. Okay, so at this point, the complexion is finished. I'm just going to pop off camera to do my brows real quick, so please enjoy the brow intermission. The 
browser on. I hope you enjoyed the intermission. So now I have some really exciting things here. Melt Cosmetics came out with a contour and bronzing stack. They also came out with the cream one for deeper skin tones. Here, I'm gonna show this off a little bit easier before I drop it all, because uh, that's very me. So here's the one for light to medium skin tones. They're cute. And then here is the cream stack for deeper skin tones has some very beautiful colors in here. I wish I had this when I was a working makeup artist or even in my school kit, this would have been very helpful. We did not get a great kit for people of color. It was literally just these two colors pretty much. And that's what we got in our kit. I think I'm gonna try, I don't know which colors. I might contour a little bit today, might as well. So I'm definitely gonna use this one, um, but I think I'll try these two. They also launched a couple brushes with this. Here's one of them, but I think it's like way too big for my face. I like to go in with smaller brushes just to get more definition and precise application. I'm gonna take this Milani All Over Blending Brush with the shade Light Medium Contour Powder. And I'm going to slightly, slightly contour. I haven't contoured my face in so long. I'm just gonna concentrate it right here until my eyebrow because I don't wanna go too much because I do wanna add a little bit of bronze. That's really nice. It blended out beautifully and added a good amount of definition too. So now I'm just gonna take my normal Sephora Airbrush Precision Foundation brush to bronze up with this shade, light medium bronzing powder has a lot of golden hues in it, which is good because I have more of a golden undertone. I really like that. I was afraid that it was gonna be too deep for my skin tone, but I think that's a good color actually. And it blends out very beautifully. It looks kind of more airbrushed, which I like. And they're blending out very beautifully. And it'd be fun to use these as eyeshadows as well, if I'm being honest. I wonder if they're going to be launching like a powder version for deeper skin tones and a cream version for lighter skin tones. That's stunning. I really like that. It looks quite natural too. I am loving how my complexion is looking so far. I think the bronzer and contour look stunning. I love the texture of this foundation. I'm really excited about how things are turning out. So now I'm going to highlight, this is the Vesca Beauty Moonlight Stargaze Luminous Glow Highlighter. It looks stunning, so I'm hoping it's not so, so intense. Here's a swatch of it. Ooh, it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna apply it with my Moda Pro Glow Brush. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of, of it first because it looks like it's gonna be quite impactful. I really like it. It doesn't look like it has any glitter in it too, which I'm kind of surprised because looking at it in the pan, it looks a little textured, but on my skin itself, it doesn't look like that at all. It looks very smooth, which I like. I really, really like that. It blends into the complexion products very, very beautifully. It almost just looks like a cream. I really like that and it was really easy to buff out too. There's no patchiness. I don't have any new blushes, so I'm just gonna quickly pop off and find one that I think will suit today's look. So I will be right back. I'm going with this option right here. It's the Bobbi Brown Powder Pink Cream Blush. and I'm going to apply it with my Smith 115 brush. I've been really into the soft pink blush shades, which is Kind of weird, I've always been more of like a peachy or like more nudie brown type, but I've been loving this look, switching it up a little bit. So now the complexion is all finished. I love how everything's laying. It looks so beautiful. I'm already such a big fan of this M Cosmetics product. It looks flawless. And I really love how my natural skin is still shining through. It just looks so smooth and perfected. Here, I'll give you guys a good close up so you can see how everything is laying. I just love the combination of all these things today. So now for my eyes, I have a couple of options here. Vesca Beauty just launched these cream eyeshadows, which is really cute. They look like little acrylic paint tubes or little oil paints. I love that. They're called the Moonlit Dream Cream Shadow. They have a little nozzle like that. Ooh, they're really cute. They have a lot of like glitter running through them. Here are some swatches. 
Oh, they're so reflective and beautiful. They have like kind of more chunky glitter running through them, but not like in a bad unflattering way. They just are so sparkly. I really like that. And then I have another option here. I have this new NARS palette. It's called the Extreme Effects Eyeshadow Palette. It looks stunning too. I've never tried a NARS eyeshadow palette yet. Uh, I've always been a little too broke. <laughs> but this looks beautiful. And then finally, I have this ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette, which I think a majority of people really want to see. So I think I'll be using this one today. I do have a couple thoughts about this palette. So when I saw the promo photos for this palette, I was extremely excited because finally a huge, nice, cool tone palette. But then when I received it in person, it looks a lot lighter than it did in the promo photos and I just see like a lot of repetitive shades. I feel like ColourPop with the direction of their palettes, they're just getting lighter and lighter in tone as they go on, which I don't really understand why. Like especially for a big palette like this, I would like maybe like once it gets to the middle row here for this to start getting really deep and smoky, especially for something called the Stone Cold Fox palette. I feel like even the deeper shades in here aren't the deepest, if I'm being honest. Like, of, of course the black is, it's a black, but like these three shades right here, they don't really look like they're going to smoke out a look very much. And all of these look very, very similar. And there's still a lot of warmth running through this palette, which is kind of funny, but I still, I haven't tried them on the eyes. Sometimes eyeshadows like translate a little deeper on the eye itself. But with my recent observations about ColourPop, their shadows tend to look a little lighter than they do in the pan, but we'll see after today. But anyways, I'm just going to quickly zoom you guys in. I already primed my eyes with some Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. That's the best one if you have oily eyelids, just as a side note, but I'm gonna zoom you guys in. I have no idea what I wanna create today. First, I'm gonna take a mixture of these two shades right here as my transition shade. And I am using my Smith 181 brush. I'm gonna blend it quite high here. I think I wanna do an all matte eye today. Kind of similar to the one I did with the Natasha Denona Viva palette on my stories. I didn't film that one though, so I think this is gonna be perfect. I'm now gonna dip into this shade right here, right beside the black called Cult Classic with this little blending brush. And I'm gonna start defining the outer portion right here. And I'm going to just jump into the color right above that called Bold Type. And I'm gonna place that right here, kind of starting to ease that blend. Oh, that's a little bit more ashy in tone than I wanted. I'm just gonna go back in with that color I was originally using called Classic. I'm just gonna go back into those transition shades that I was using, just to bring that back and kind of warm this up a little touch. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here, You Rock, with this flat brush, and I'm going to press that on the lid. Wait, that's a little, I'm gonna take a little bit of bold type too. These are very powdery. They're, they're like, there's a lot of kickback happening on here and I'm just dipping in, I don't know. It feels very, very powdery, but that's not the biggest deal to me. Like I don't, that's not something I really care about, but I know a lot of people do. This is actually looking quite nice. I kind of like how this is looking. This is the Royal and Langnickel Balm 487 brush. And I'm gonna take that Cult Classic shade and I'm really going to tuck it as close as I can to my lower lashes. And I'm gonna finish it off under here with bold type. And I'm gonna take the black called Rock Bottom and I'm gonna just Bring a little bit more dimension in here. I'm not trying to create a little eyeliner or anything. I just want to deepen it up. My transition color keeps disappearing on me, so I'm just gonna ultra define it one more time. And I might bring a little bit of that Cory Days on the lower here just to tie everything in. I don't know. I kind of like that. It's very, very soft. Give it a very diffused eye look. I like it. I mean, there I don't have any patchiness issues or anything, so they did perform very well. I just was using pretty much all the deepest tones, and they're not super smoky on me, but I mean, it still looks like a beautiful look. 
what do you guys think i'm just gonna quickly pop off camera catch this eye up to speed and i'll be right back so here are the eyes i'll finish with just eyeshadow i'm just gonna pop a little bit of this highlighter in the inner corner just because there isn't anything to highlight the inner corner with in here they're all a little bit too deep like this one looks like it could work but it has an undercast on it that's a little too gray and this one is like a matte color with the glitter inside so like it doesn't really highlight the way i want i mostly use my highlighter anyways but it's just funny for a giant palette there's a few things that are missing for me in this palette i'm not gonna lie but it still performed beautifully and i like the way that this eyeshadow look turned out it looks very soft which i enjoy so now i have a new mascara here this is called the nars climax extreme mascara <laughs> and i forgot to curl my lashes so i'm just gonna do that real quick i use the shuomera curlers i've had this for years and it works so well every other eyelash curler i've ever tried in my life breaks on me for some reason or the squishy thingy i don't or it just gives up this just keeps going now i'm just gonna take this mascara i haven't tried this one yet obviously oh this huge wand that's huge <laughs> okay i'm gonna go slow because this wand is massive i'm gonna poke somewhere in a lot that is like the quickest mascara application ever wow it's making my lashes look beautiful and the more i go the more eyelashes i suddenly have wow oh my god are you seeing this it smells good but it also is making my eyes sting a little bit i feel like it a little perfumey or mascara scenty i'm gonna put that on my lower lashes too that is beautiful i'm just gonna take my little velour lash comb here just to kind of separate it over here because i got a little excited wow that was a fantastic mascara and usually i don't like mascaras when i first first use them i feel like they need a little bit of time to thicken up you know but this is amazing so here are the eyes all finished i really really love how they turned out i have been loving this all matte vibe i think it looks stunning so now i'm just gonna move on to the lips and then we're finished so for the lips i have two options here first buxom sent over these beautiful lipsticks they're called the full force lipsticks i swatched a few here i received these five don't they look so beautiful these colors are really speaking to me these are all colors i see myself wearing i really like this one it's like a bronzy color Ooh, so nice so this shade is pop star this one over here is dreamboat this one's angel this one's fly girl and this one is heartthrob so they're beautiful colors and i love the texture it looks like a nice sheer effect and the other option are these these are the vesca beauty uh, they recently came out with these. They're the Lush Glow Creamy Lip Oil. They sent over three shades here. Here, I'll quickly swatch them as well. This is the shade Dahlia. Well, that's a lot more pigmented than I was expecting for a lip oil, but that looks beautiful. It's a nice cherry pinky red. This one is really nice. It's called Morning Glory. It looks like a true brown. Oh yeah. That is that's really cute and then this one here which is called ginger lily oh that's really pretty too it's like a nice light pink i feel like that would suit this look perfectly with the blush color i chose i don't know i want to wear them all so i decided i want to go with oh, i almost hit myself in the eye did you see that i want to go for the vesca and i saw this morning that nabla finally revealed their new lip liners and also their side-by-side -side palette which i have been loving they sent this collection to me a little bit early so i could play around with it and i've been wearing these lip liners secretly for a while they're so beautiful i quickly swatched them all for you look at that gradient it's so fun but anyways so this is nude one nude two nude three nude four nude five nude six okay nude one is the way to go for today it suits the blush a little bit better oh my gosh the mascara is already transferring under my eyes. Oh god. I'm so happy that they came out with lip liners. Um, so now I'm just going to top off my lips with this ginger lily color. That feels really nice. 
I'm really happy with this combo actually. It fits the blush perfectly. Cute. Okay, so here is the final look. I love it. I'm gonna take off this headband real quick. Wow, okay. I really love how everything turned out today. I am seeing something happening here. Let me show you what I'm seeing. Look at the mascara is already transferring. That's why I always use um, either the Glossier Lash Slick or the M Cosmetics Pick Me Up Mascara. They just don't disobey me like this. Oh, under here too. Oh, that looks bad. Okay. So not definitely not an under eye mascara, but for the top lashes, looks fantastic. But here is the final look. What do you guys think? I love how everything looks. I cannot believe how flawless everything looks, especially for an all first impressions video. So I'm going to quickly gather my thoughts about all the products I tried out today, and I'll give you my final first impressions, my final thoughts about them. So I'll be right back. So this is a fun change, and there's literally nothing that I dislike in this video. I don't know if that's ever happened in an all first impressions video. I can't recall. I'm gonna go in order of application. So first starting off with the Daydream Cushion. So far, I am completely in love with this. Um, like I said at the beginning, I've never tried a cushion foundation, so I had no expectations and I wasn't really sure if I was going to really enjoy this product, to be honest, when I first saw it launched. It didn't really bring me much excitement I don't know why, but now that I actually tried it, I am so extremely excited about it. I think it looks absolutely stunning. It's the perfect amount of coverage. It's so nice and glowy. It's something I see myself using on the daily in my everyday life. It was really easy to apply and I really like how it was super easy and simple. The formula feels really, really nice and I love how it's an SPF 50 in there too. I don't have any critiques about this yet and it's so fun how you can get refillable things. I wanna see how you take it out. Oh yeah, so that's how it how you replace it. That's neat. I'm really, really excited about this product, you guys. This is probably one of my top favorites out of the day, the one that I see myself using the most, if I'm honest. I love it, and it's nice and compact and so cute. I'm definitely going to continue trying it out over the course of this month, so keep tuned for the end of the month when I do my monthly roundup, but so far, amazing. It looks so good everywhere. Moving on, to the Melt Stack. I will say that this isn't my favorite ever bronzer and contour, I don't know, but I'm happy I do have a contour in my collection now. I was just looking and I don't have any contour products at all. They're all bronzers. <laughs> so I'm happy to have this. For the formulation, I think it was really nice and buildable and it blended out beautifully, but it doesn't strike me as like the most unique formula in the world, but I do like how it's in a stack form so you can just quickly grab it and go. And I like how you can just make it like a little mini stack with the two shades that you wear the most and you can use the other ones as like eyeshadows or anything like that. I think it performed beautifully and if you have been wanting this I think you won't be disappointed. I mean the color it looks beautiful and I do see myself using it time to time but I will say that it's not like my most favorite product I've ever tried in the world. I feel like it's like an average powder product. I really like it though. So now moving on to the Vesca highlighter. I think this is beautiful. It almost just looks like a natural glow, just a little bit more elevated. I really like it. <laughs> I'm so surprised with how many things I liked in this video. I love how there's no glitter whatsoever and I love how it just melted so seamlessly into the base product. I'm interested to see how this performs on other types of foundations because I know this one is a little bit more of a serum consistency and I didn't set it with powder at all. So that could be a big contributor to that. But this is really, really cute and I love the little size of it. It's so cute. So really excited about this powder highlight. Look at me falling in love with a couple powder highlights recently. So now for the Stone Cold Fox ColourPop palette. I originally was a little disappointed just to see that it wasn't a really nice gradient for such a big palette, but the way it performed was really beautiful. I still think that this is quite soft for a huge palette, and I don't know how I completely feel about it yet. I mean, it performed very beautifully. I love the look I created. I didn't try any of the shimmers out yet, but I was watching a few of them, and some of them look a little crumbly, but I'll have to try it out again. Um, in a different video or something like that and make a point to try out the shimmers. But 
Um, if I'm being honest, I, this is my most favorite huge palette I've ever had. I don't have any in my collection just because I usually get very overwhelmed when I have huge palettes or sometimes the colors are too chaotic for me and it just is kind of annoying to think up of a fun look to do. I really like how this one's laid out, how it's in rows so you have more of a guided way to go or you can use it in quads and things in some areas. I mean, it's nice. I just really wish that there was a lot more depth so this would be a lot more versatile. Like I feel like I would pick this out, but I would have to pick another palette out if I wanted to make it really dark and smoky. That's the only thing I'm disappointed in. I wish it was a little bit more of an equal gradient passing through it because right now it's just very, very light, 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 and then deep. I think I will keep this one around to grab here and there, but it's definitely not my most favorite palette I've ever had. Like it's nothing super special, but I like the look I created. So now for the mascara, I was highly excited when I applied it to my top lashes. I think my top lashes look fantastic, but it's definitely not a bottom lash mascara. It's already smudging once again, and it's making me look tired. How rude. I'm not tired at all. So that I'm not a fan of, but that is what most mascaras do on me anyways, except for the M Cosmetics one and the Glossier one. But for my top lashes, this is incredible. I love the way my lashes look right now. I love how volumizing and lengthening this one was. I see myself using this a lot. Very impressed. And for the lip products, I'm so happy I can finally talk about these and show them on my channel. The Nabla lip liners are beautiful. And I'm so happy I can finally use them and brag about them all the time on my channel. Highly recommend them. They're beautiful. I love their formula. They're very creamy. And I like how they're not very defining like they'll give more of a soft lip line look which i personally enjoy a little bit better i feel like it makes the whole face flow a little bit better so huge fan of those and finally for the vesca beauty lip oils i really like how this one feels it feels like i have nothing on my lips at all and there's no stickiness at all it just is a really nice soft color i'm really happy with everything i tried out to be honest like i'm excited to go take a couple photos but that is all for me today you guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments down below that would be very very helpful i'll make sure to link all of these products in the description down below as always and i will catch you guys in the next one love you bye